tell me you have news of Thespis? He's fine. And he'll be fit to perform your play tomorrow. Oh, thank the gods. I know what actors can be like. Compared to what I'm used to, it was a breath of fresh air. That is so good to hear. Here, for your troubles. The people may be the heart of Athens, but my play will be its voice. <laughs> oh! Happy day for us and for our children if Cleon should perish! You also know what a pig's education he has had. Such insults! And to think I was going to propose a statue to be erected in the city to each of you for your bravery! See! He treats us like old daughters and crows at our feet to deceive us. But the cunning wherein his power lies shall this time recoil on himself. Ah! Allah! The conspirators are murdering me! I received word that Hermipos is dead. Very interesting. have stayed. Someone needed to stop Cleon. Fools look backwards in times like these. And you're no fool. For now, we work to save Mitilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since I heard Cleon speak of Mitilini, I have known something was wrong, and I have been taking steps to find out just what. Your plan sounds promising. One of my students is posing as a guard at the Acropolis. Apparently, Cleon is hiding something there, and has been meeting others in secret. That's a bold move. Desperate times. If you believe there's something at the Acropolis that'll help, I'll find it. I expect you'll find the proof you need of his offenses. What if the people don't turn against Cleon? They will. I'll be speaking in front of them soon. With your help, we'll show them the man behind the facade. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. Anything else you can tell me about where to look? What I know is Cleon's always loved the statue of Athena. Sounds like a good place to start. 
I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Padix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick. This looks like somewhere Cleon would come. Don't ask any questions. Let's keep out of sight. So to get the key, I need to find the commander Phylos. Muddy tracks. Probably came from someone in the garden. This shovel looks recently used. Someone dug here.
Atlantis was right. This is exactly what we needed. Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilene is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the polis, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us, right now, to change their minds. So, you'll join me? How am I supposed to help? You're the speaker, not me. That's exactly why you'll be able to help. I need you to act like the people who support Cleon. It won't be easy, but I'll do what I can. But Socrates! Cleon is a man of the people! Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am! What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? Yes, I'd still be responsible. You are almost too insightful, and you're completely right. If someone should be hurt by any means, and we play any role in that hurt, we are still responsible. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So, let me ask you another question. Who should you trust, the many, or the one who has more expertise? The majority is always right. And who is informing the majority? I suppose we're following the one at the top. And if you found out the person at the top had lied to the people you follow, what would you do? People who lie to me don't deserve my trust. Nor should they. After all, if someone lies to you a single time, what's to say they would not do so again? Yes, you're right. So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course. Oh, Athenians! Would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would! And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not. Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilene. And we have the proof that he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilene, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. 
The lives of those people are in your hands, too. The ship must be stopped. That probably could have gone better, but even so, I believe the people are unable to deny the proof we presented. All we did was talk. What we did was far more. We used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt Cleon, but hopefully save countless lives. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Cassandra! Brasida sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphipolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So what are you going to do? Brasidas needs my help. I plan on giving it to him. Though should our paths cross, I won't hesitate to kill Cleon. Whatever you decide, remember he's only a man. I can't promise anything. Be safe. Off we go now. Come on.
Any farther is a good way to get capsized.
looking for trouble. I should watch my step around here. Try to stay out of sight. <sighs> Felaka art went for deep water.
Brasidas, you're here. You got my message. I heard about Pilos. Are you all right? I've been through worse. We have bigger problems right now. After Pilos, what happened? The remaining Spartans found me and gave me time to recover. So I did. But your leg? You disappeared from battle. I was captured. Taken to Athens for an interrogation with Demos and Cleon. They didn't kill you? They tried. So, Cleon's in Amphipolis. Somewhere. And in armor, I hear. He'll fight for his life today. He wants to be the hero. Athenians can't think much of him after what he did. This is our chance, Brasidas. We kill Cleon today. If you don't, then I will. There's something you're not telling me. <sighs> I am here for Cleon. Let's keep it at that. I thought we were friends. You're not who I thought you were. You were raised Spartan. You should know how to be loyal. I did what I thought was right. You hurt my reputation. I can fix that, Brasidas. Let me fix it. It's too late. Let me explain. I know you killed Nikolaos. You... How? You showed up in Magaris and the wolf died. No explanation needed. That man destroyed my life, and they made him a general for it. I had no choice. We're wasting time. Athens is gathering reinforcements. I... We need to attack now. Let's go. Malaka. Today, we give everything we have. No giving up. <gasps> the Athenians are here! Spartans, charge! Archers on the wall! Shut down! Now! Let's go!
taking so personally. Oh, shit. Unfortunately for you, it is. It's not too late, you know. You can still join us. We're not in Athens. You can't talk your way out of this. Why won't you just leave me alone? Cassandra, come now. Show mercy. You turned him against us. My own brother. We lifted Themos up. We made him great, unstoppable. You made him a monster! Then fight by his side. Teach him. You would have Themos once again. His name is Alexios. I beg you, this world is severed, Cassandra, and we'll unite it. Shut the fuck up! My hands are empty. Have pity. Die just as you lived. As a coward. I'm not through. I won't be forgotten for all I've done. You're not worth the memory. Irini will want to know Cleon is dead. And Vrasidas. I should have gotten to Rino sooner. I'm sorry. Better stay hidden. Phobos, away! Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> 
My lamb, you've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. Vimos killed him in battle. And what of my son? Cleon fired an arrow into Demos' back. The wound didn't look fatal. He could still be alive. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mater, there's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taietus, where it all began. My whole life has been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. This is where everything changed. It's like I never left. Alexios! On the edge of the world, a mother calls out to her child. Touching. Please. You use that name as if it means something to me. It's the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult. I tried to save you. I did everything. The priest told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your son. Alexios. Come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family? Home. <laughs> the cult is my family. The battlefield is my home. I promised to bring him back, Mater. But the cult has poisoned his mind. Promised to bring me back to Mater, did you? <laughs> you didn't bring me here. Why don't you tell our Mater the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with a destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a... Broken spear. You don't have a destiny. You are just a tool used by the cult. I'm glad you said that. Since we first met, I've been trying to figure out what you are to me. You're a weed, trying to choke and destroy everything I've planted. And you know the best way to kill a weed? Is at the root. Alexios? When I was little, 
I found a lion cub trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in the world of beasts, a family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead. My destiny is clear. And I won't let you get in my way. Alexios, listen to me. You are my brother. I tried to protect you once, and I failed. I will not fail again. This belonged to our grandfather. The home now. I've done terrible things. We all have an excess. You can't protect anyone, can you? Maybe we both should have died here that day. But... <gasps> no! The gods are cruel. I tried to save you! Stop living in the past, sister! Your death is now! You've hurt this family for the last time! Oh, 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 oh. But that's where you're wrong! Hurting has only just begun!
is for the lives you've destroyed. This is for Brasidas. And this is for Phoebe. From the moment I first held you, I knew. You are sent by the gods to protect this world. And you did. Always forward, my brave Cassandra. For Navas. I didn't know you were here. Sorry I missed dinner. Didn't miss much. Chin up. There's more to this world than Sparta. And, lucky for us, we get to see it all. You're right. Let's set sail. <laughs> <laughs> 